Hi guys, just here with another way um, vlog video just to give my thoughts on uh, the passing of one of the greatest horror directors has ever been, Mr. Wes Craven. Uh, sad loss. Um, really sad for me personally because I've always been an absolute huge fan of him. Uh, on his work, the way he directed horror, the way he, just the mind he had for horror was extraordinary. It was really one in a million. You'll never see another like him again. I don't think, and you know, for for the time where he was most active, he wasn't afraid to push the boundaries really, because with movies like Lost House on the Left, The Hills of Eyes, A Nightmare on Elm Street, of course, and Scream, among a few others, uh, he really he sort of broke that barrier between you know what was decent, and what really wasn't decent. Cause Lost House on the Left was one of the first movies that ever got um, an X rating. Um, in the UK and the US as well and it was really controversial for the time and even now when you go back and watch it it is really controversial and the remake I think doesn't really capture that us where remakes go unfortunately but um, yeah Lost House on the Left really did push that The Hills of Eyes again great film great plot uh, fantastic acting in it uh, it's really terrifying, and contrary to, uh, to what to what I I just said of a couple of minutes ago, the Hills of Eyes had a decent remake, but again didn't live up to what Craven did. And of course, you have a Nightmare on Elm Street, the quintessential horror movie. I think um, whenever you ask anyone to name a horror movie, nine times out of ten they will say a Nightmare on Elm Street, and that is purely down to Wes Craven's direction and the way he directed Robert England who as we all know plays Freddy Krueger who no one else should play that role and no one else should even have directed any of the Nightmare on Elm Street sequels because um, as we all know those aren't really you know highlights of movies you know apart from uh, 1994's New Nightmare I thought was a good way spin on A Nightmare on Elm Street but the, the original was always uh, the best <coughs> excuse me guys got a bit of a cold um, yeah you know Nightmare on Elm Street was it's one of those movies that just uh, passes from generation to generation because um, my mum and dad they Watched um, A Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, obviously, whenever it first came out in 84. And A Nightmare on Elm Street was really the first horror movie that I ever watched. And it, it scared the shit out of me. It, it was, it just really got to me, you know, the fact that this guy could attack you in your sleep. And what, what, what I found out, obviously, later in life, that Wes Craven had based these stories off something that happened in real life where... Uh, these kids in America they were afraid to go to sleep and they were being found dead uh, in their beds with no apparent uh, cause of death um, and it's truly terrifying and Wes Craven really captured that and put it to use on the big screen and of course uh, perhaps his most recent famous work was Scream 1996 which really lampooned uh, the horror genre uh, while also rebirthing it as well, you know, it sort of gave a new spin on things. And it was sort of one of the first meta movies where, you know, it, it sort of um, referenced events outside of its own universe. And it sort of took a look at itself and horror movies in general and sort of turned it on its head and Scream has to be one of my favourite horror movies if not one of my favourite movies of all time um, yeah so I, I might have rambled a bit there but uh, you know I just want to say Wes Craven uh, is a huge loss to um, not only the horror movie industry but also the movie industry as well and it's been, it's been very tough this year because um, um July, uh, we obviously lost, was it June or July? Um, yeah, July, uh, we lost uh, Sir Christopher Lee. 
Um, I, again, my thoughts about that on my Facebook page. Um, and I maybe should do a video at the end of the year, just some of the losses we've had in the movie industry. But, um, you know, to lose Sir Christopher Lee and Wes Craven, who are two opposite ends of the horror movie industry, but uh, they're both very significant and it's just been two great losses, to be honest with you. Um, but anyway, guys, that's all from me. Uh, I'll see you all later. Bye.